Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can use Odoo uh, to facilitate B2B sales through a um, B2B webshop platform. Um, what you can see here is my Odoo um, B2B webshop that I created for my customers. Um, so here I can actually sell um, the products directly to them um, through our uh, B2B webshop. As you can see here, um, I'm currently um, simulating a B2B customer who ended up on our uh, B2B webshop. Um, and the first thing I noticed is that uh, the shop page is invisible. Um, I also can't access the product pages uh, and therefore also see the, the B2B prices at this point. Um, the only thing I can do is request a B2B account. So let's do that. Um, so my name is Jean Vreugge, phone number, email, fancy name for my company, streets, city zip code country is belgium and i would like to do business hi i like to do business with you and regards Julien. i'm going to submit this form and right now um, I just get a thank you message. Uh, you could also have a separate thank you page if you would want to for your um, analytics. Um, what happens in the backend is um, in your CRM module. So I'm now at the, the company site, at the Tradewinds company site. Um, they will get a um, lead um, creation. Uh, so a lead will be created in the, in the system um, and if we open this we can actually see that um, there is a B2B account request. Um, here are all the details of um, the company that were inserted into the form and um, there is also a note with the message uh, that was uh, given. Um, and now the, the first step happens. So I'm currently um, in the lead state, but I want to convert this to an opportunity. Um, when you do this, then um, this lead will become an opportunity and it will be visible in your pipeline. So let's do that. Um, so I'm going to convert to an opportunity. Uh, I'm going to set the salesperson and sales team. Um, I'm going to create a new customer. You could also choose to not yet create a new customer um, or to link this to an existing customer. Uh, why would you not create a customer? Because for example, if this lead turns out to be not really an interesting customer or not a real lead, then you at least don't contaminate your um, database with um, customer data. Uh, that's not really a customer. But in uh, this case, I'm going to create a new customer. All right, so I created an opportunity. Now, what happened here? Well, before this lead was in this overview, where you just see all of the leads, and now it's actually in my uh, pipeline. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna contact this person, I'm gonna email them, or I'm gonna call them, um, see what they are about, why they are interested, and uh, my products and what they do as a company themselves. Um, so I'm gonna qualify them. At some point, um, I will propose uh, for a collaboration and uh, eventually um, we will agree on a potential uh, collaboration. So this lead will be one. Um, there are many options here of how you can actually handle this. This is uh, case by case decision um, that you make yourself. You could, for example, already send a quotation um, or uh, do it in another way. But in this case, 
what I want to do because I want to highlight this is I'm just going to do, I'm just going to create uh, a portal account for this um, customer so that they can uh, order themselves. Uh, this way, I have to do basically nothing, um, and the orders can just come in. So um, we're going to go to this lead. Um, I'm going to go directly to the customer. So here I'm on the customer page. As you can see, I have all these tabs uh, where you can find all of this information. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set a price list um, to this um, customer. Um, in this case, the price list is managed on the parent company. So let's do that first. Um, I'm going to set the price list here to B2B. It's already set because it's a default price list, uh, but I would be able to change it here if I wanted to, to for example, a different B2B price list. Um, now, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this person um, access to um, his account uh, by granting portal access. So this will create a portal user and that is connected to this contact. Um, and this way they can set a password, log in, and start creating purchases um, for themselves. All right, so an invite has been sent. As I'm obviously playing both sides, I'm gonna go to my emails and I'm gonna open the email uh, in a incognito window. And here I get redirected to a page where all my um, information is already filled in. So my name and my uh, email. And I just need to set a password. Let's do that. Click on sign up and I directly have access to my account, to all of my orders, my invoices. Obviously I haven't purchased anything yet, so I don't see anything in there. Um, but the next thing I see is that the shop page is now visible. So you only see the shop page if you are logged in and you can only log in if uh, you've requested an account and um, if Tradewinds um, accepted that and they uh, granted portal access. There's only one product in this case. Um, so let's uh, make an order. And the price that I see here is a price that is defined in the price list that is set on my uh, contact. Um, so this way, I actually already see all of the prices that are relevant to me. Okay, I'm gonna check out. I could easier use a, a discount code uh, or something else, but I think for B2B orders, that's not super relevant. Let's move on. Okay, um, billing and shipping. Uh, I'm gonna choose a standard delivery method. Um, I'm gonna choose a uh, wire transfer in this case. Um, so. You could have a direct um, uh, payment method, uh, like a credit card or something else, but you can also just do it by wire transfer. Um, it's quite old school, but of course for B2B purchases, um, this happens uh, quite a lot. So I'm gonna choose these two, and I'm gonna click on pay now. There we go. Uh, all right, so I placed the order. Um, how does this look like in the back end? If you go to the sales module, you will notice um, that there's a um, sales um, order that was created. Uh, an email was sent with the request for payment. Um, and in this case, I also already confirmed order myself. And I gave the customer 30 days uh, to pay. Um, you can also then directly create an invoice and send this to the customer as well. Um, and of course, the delivery um, will also happen uh, at some point uh, when you're ready to deliver. Um, what does the client see in their um, portal? Um, in their portal, they will see uh, the sales order themselves as well. Um, they will see a status of um, the invoice and the delivery order. So in this case, um, they can see that the delivery order is still being prepared, it's not sent yet, and that the invoice that they need to pay is waiting for a payment. Um, they can actually communicate with um, the Tradewinds uh, company 
and um, ask questions. For example, um, could I get a discount if I um, duplicate this order? There we go. And then in the back end in the sales order, you will actually see this communication and you can talk back with this person. Uh, for example, uh, no, uh, your prices are already uh, very sharp. There we go. You might not uh, want to uh, talk to a client like that, uh, but um, this is a way to do it. <clears throat> All right, thank you for um, joining and uh, hope you learned something. Um, this is an easy way to actually um, reduce the time spent on um, B2B orders um, by giving your customers access to a platform where they can order themselves, where they see their prices um, and where you can see all the statuses of their B2B orders. This reduces the communication that is needed. Um, and might actually enable more sales um, in that way. Uh, so yeah, thanks for tuning in and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.